I have a question because I'm in a good mood and I'm feeling myself in all the right places. How far are any of you willing to go for love? Are you willing to drive a couple of hours? I would hope the answer is yes. Were you willing to fly? I would hope the answer is yes. Are you willing to take a jog, a walk, a stroll, a little bit more commitment? I hope the answer is yes. Because in a world full of a bunch of people trying to give dating advice where they give you a bunch of unrealistic shit that they don't even follow and they are individuals who do nothing but prey upon the minds and the loneliness and the low self-esteem of both young men and young women and it may be hard to convince yourself to do anything for the sake of love but are you willing if the circumstances were to meet each other in equal frequency are you willing to attempt to hire a fucking hitman to kill your significant other's husband slash wife and if the answer is yes Go to jail, just like this bitch going to jail. Knoxville woman is sentenced to prison for hiring a hitman to kill the wife of a man she had met online. Melody Sasser met the man on Match.com last year, paid using Bitcoin to online killer's market. She provided work and home addresses, license plate numbers, and other details about her target. Sasser ended a plea deal, will face 100 months behind bars, pay more than $5,000 in fines. I'm just struggling to understand the impatience of an individual to be in a situation where you meet somebody, you go on a couple dates, you smile, he smiles, your heart starts to flutter, and all of a sudden, there's one last task that you have to beat in order to have your significant walk into the sunset with I do's following right behind you, and you have to get the wife out of the equation. And you can't hope for a divorce, you can't hope for a breakup, you can't hope for a mutual split, you gotta start planning the dumbest way possible you gotta start doing google searches you have a back catalog you have a journal where you yourself are looking into people to put a hit out on so that you can have your happily ever after and the impatience for one to not understand that life is not grand theft auto online you don't get to just put the phone down after calling lester and saying job well done the cops are off my back they are tracking you from hither to yonder and the fact that you thought it would be wise to double back to somebody and start asking yo is the job done yet you said this would be done in a week and it's been two weeks what are you doing what do i have to give this money to somebody else fuck you already gave it in bitcoin you're not ever gonna see that shit ever again and i'm just sitting here wondering was the dick that good for you to really sit there and think, yes, it's worth it to kill somebody because that dick was just mwah, chef's kiss for everybody to never get their hands on it. And only I could suckle upon that sweet succulent taint and gooch. Listen, on a serious note, obviously the woman is a dumbass. Obviously she is going to jail for a long time and she will get the everlasting love that she's been hoping for. But it won't be coming from a man in that long schlong. It's going to be coming from Big Frida. And when you take that first shit in that jail cell and Big Frida come in there and she throw you that knife and she tell you turn around and don't even wipe, you're going to understand that maybe hiring a bounty hunter to take out your lover's wife is probably not the smartest thing you could possibly do. And to everybody else, I'm going to tell y'all this with all sincerity in my heart. Don't give up on love. I know things didn't work out in the last relationship or the relationship before that or the relationship before that or the relationship before that or the relationship before that. But come on. Are you just going to sit there and ignore all the love that is truly in this world that can be given to you or that you could give to others? And I'm not just talking about romantically. I'm talking about friendship wise, family wise. A random stranger will remember a compliment you give them for months on end. All you got to do is just believe in a little bit of love. And if you are against that, oh, well, that's your miserable ass. It ain't got nothing to do with the rest of us because the rest of us are worried about love. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Mwah. Goodbye.